Good evening, Miss Nadia. So today we are going to be doing your full body tarot reading. Super excited for it. Um, I have my connections candle lit. That's not always a requirement, but I like to tell you the tools I'm using. There's already a crystal grid set in place. Your chakra systems on your notes right here. I'm just using some clear quartz. And there, we are also going to be using this bloodstone to look at your chakra system. We are using the um, Way Home Tarot and postcards from the liminal space. We're using that today. And we have pulled quite a few cards for you as we're going to be looking in to your chakra system as well. And there will also be some Reiki given during this video, okay? So I'm gonna light some sage. that we're going to go through are your tarot cards. I pull the past, present, and future card for you. And they're saying already you have some strong male energy around you. So the first card we got for you is the um, Father of Pentacles. And so with the Father of Pentacles, this is really looking at you needing to feel fulfilled. Um, this has a lot of masculine energy. And remember, our pentacles connect us down to our element of earth. And the pentacles are connected to our money. And the one thing about being creative is that sometimes like creative things can give us abundance and can give us money. And they're saying, like, I don't know, maybe you have worked with pottery in the past or feel like you could work with pottery but that's something like you need to be doing something creative with your hands that's going to give you um some type of outlet to get past your stress is what they're saying so this is kind of representative of the past and they're saying these are things and opportunities that you've ignored being creative and filling your time and your space with um, creative outlooks to get past your stress. Oops, I, I wanted to stay. You need to pay attention. The Father of Pentacles. And so I pulled some oracle cards for you as well. And I think that's, um, we'll, we'll get into those in just a second. So the next card you got is again some very masculine energy and I feel like they're saying masculine energy kind of rules where you are right now like other people's emotions thoughts energies that rules where you are and that needs to be like taking a step down because you need to put your thoughts and energies and um, emotions first right right so this second card you got was the Sun of Cups. So our cups represent our emotions and the water element, right? So I think for the Sun of Cups, like you're really needing a new perspective on things. I feel like you're like, I did all the work. I did it. I'm good for a really long time. And so that's the thing. They're kind of saying it's kind of like continuous improvement. Um, you need to look at it like that. Like you constantly need to be kind of working on yourself and where you are energetically. They're saying you need like an energetic check-in. Like you need to energetically feel your own body, to feel the energy come in, feel the energy let go. Um, and I think you're looking for a different direction in life and like where to go and 
you're almost doing it in in like an innocent way like if there's if there's a sign that I'm supposed to change stuff up like I'm gonna get hit with a sign right I feel like it's there's kind of an innocence about what it is you are looking for so there's that one and so your future card because whenever we go in and we try to change things up it can get messy right it can get messy so expect that whenever you are going in and you're doing these digs and you're doing this past life work that things are going to come up that are emotionally going to stunt you so the third card you got was three of cups and so we're going from this very masculine strong emotional energy to kind of this upheaval in a way so the three of cups is there i literally wrote down like you needing to seek some shelter kind of like you're coming in after the storm and you need to find your own independence away from these people there is somebody they're saying it's a girl that is so codependent on you um and she just relies on you a lot and it's time for her to stand on her own two feet but you've kind of got to let her go in a sense and let her you know do her own thing be her own person because she can only be brave until you let go of her so it just needs to be you and yourself these two other people that are like kind of playing tug of war at you you need to kind of they're saying take a stand and make your distance known that it's not about their needs first it's about your needs okay because you are the most important player in your grand story not them and their worries and their needs you spend a lot of time worrying and thinking and being about other people whenever you really need to be worrying thinking and being about yourself sorry not sorry so your next cards are going to be your oracle cards and these are kind of like the follow-ups to the readings as we're going in and looking at all of these energies for the week so your first card we got was something that was kind of hecate's message from no november theme and maybe you need a resurgence um and to see what you're doing and you need to try the opposite. You need to look at all the things in your life that are not working for you or that are subpar, which means they're kind of working, but like it could always improve. You need to try the opposite of what is triggering people and freaking you out, basically. Try the opposite of your own triggers. The next card is walking down memory lane. It is time for you to walk down memory lane. And I feel like this is a lot of, they're saying a lot of sister, inner child healing that um, you need to heal those wounds from childhood. They're saying her addictions came from somewhere. And it's, it's time for you to kind of like let that go a little bit because like it, it wasn't, it wasn't your fault. They're saying the family curses are not you, that they're, they're not your fault and they are not your burden to bear because there's a certain moment in your family history and in your family time where you were really, really happy and less stressed out, and you need to remember those way more happier times. And so the next one is really cute, and I loved this one for you. So it's be your own sugar daddy. And I love this because in your, your second to last card, you are talking, like we are talking about, um, you know, you needing to find your own independence and stand on your own two feet and kind of create this barrier between you and these other people that are kind of like leeching off of you. 
And being your own sugar daddy is the epitome of standing on your own two feet and just really loving that like you one can give your own self your own damn love with your sugar and your sweetness and how you need to find value in that. Of course, my coffee pot's going off. Um, and also that financially, abundantly, like you are okay. You're going to be okay. You're just fine. You don't need to depend on anybody else to give you value because you can be your own daddy. You have that own that masculine energy about you. And I feel like that's a large misconception that you have to have such a strong male energy to be able to have enough power and financial stability to support yourself because I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's a correct way of thinking. And that's the one thing I do kind of disagree about with this card. But for you, I think it's perfect. Because you're trying to move forward in a way that's going to make you feel better and feel as if you're the most independent person and you, those other people are not going to be holding on to you in a sense. So God is a goddess is this next card. And the reason why that this is such a good um way to wrap up the tarot and oracle portion of this reading is because it's about taking control of your own divine feminine energy this is the perfect card for you to know that the universe is on your side you're going to be going through some stuff with the three of cups pretty soon you're going to be in this energetic energy of like oh my god three is kind of a crowd (laughs) I need my space again. You're going to you're going to need to let go of some things, which is fine. It's fine. Um but just know that you're always going to be receiving signs and that the universe is definitely going to be energetically there for you. It might not feel like it's going to be. It might not feel like the energy is around you for your own spiritual support, but it's important that you lean on your own spiritual team and your own guides. And they're saying prayer, they're saying make your altars, and that your ancestors are definitely listening, that they're there for you. Um, they're showing me like a picture of an older woman on like a fireplace or something. I don't know if you have that when you like light a candle and you're like praying with your rosary. Um, Whoever you're praying to, it feels like kind of like a grandmother energy. Um, They are definitely listening. They definitely come around. They definitely love visiting with you. Um, Because that connection, it's important for you to know that that connection goes both ways. They love being near you and they hope that you know that whenever they come close, they're not trying to scare you. Um... And I am talking about your grandmother. That she just, she wants you to know that you are loved and you're appreciated and you are valued and you come from a really strong line of these Santorian people, these witches, and it's time that you you own it because you have a lot of power in your prayer and you know that you know that because you can feel it it's like instantaneous whenever things happen for you and you've prayed and prayed and prayed on them a lot and you're like oh maybe I exerted too much power (laughs) you're not you're just seeing what it's like to have that taste of power of what you're doing and you need to own that because you are your own freaking goddess so the next portion of this reading is i'm going to be using my pendulum to go over your chakra system we're going to see if you have any blockages um i have a little crystal grid set up here and we're going to be using that to help kind of clear out any blockages and any things that you have going on. You're going to hear me ask if my pendulum is ready to work with me today, see how it answers. And then you're going to hear me 
humming and I'm going to be energetically giving you your Reiki. Okay. Are you willing to work with me? Yes or no? Show me your answer for yes. Show me your answer for no. At this time, I'd like to take a deep breath, and I want you to just close your eyes for this portion of the reading, Nadia. Go ahead. Envision your crown chakra. It opening and closing, opening and closing. Does Nadia Ortiz have any blockages in her crown chakra? They're saying yes. They're also saying you're not listening to enough of your guides. You need to do a lot of guide work. Um, and you need to find your main guide. He's there. He's waiting for you. It's Nadia Ortiz's third eye chakra blocked. It's her third eye chakra blocked. I'm getting a no. Okay. This is Nadia Ortiz's throat chakra blocked. It's her throat chakra blocked. I am getting a yes. Okay. Nadia Ortiz's sacral chakra blocked? No. It's Nadia Ortiz's solar plexus blocked. It's Nadia Ortiz's solar plexus blocked? No. What about her root chakra blocked? No. No, oh, and I need to look at your heart. Is her heart chakra blocked? Is her heart? So they're saying the crown, third eye, and heart is where we need to focus the most of our Reiki for the rest of this session. And that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to go back in a week's time and reevaluate your chakra systems and give you your second reading. I hope you sincerely enjoyed this. Take a nice deep breath whenever you can and just envision me coming to you and giving you all of this beautiful Reiki energy. Mm.
And that is the end of your reading, Miss Nadia. So you have some inner child healing you need to do. You did have a, um, a lost child soul piece that came up that we worked on reintegrating. You also had flowers, somebody playing a Spanish guitar, a lot of chatter, and they're all speaking in Spanish. You have so many people that want to come through for you. They're all around you all the time. It is scary because I know you feel them around you all the time. And something with like pink roses, like these orange carnations, and just all these people around you, and like the Spanish guitar. I don't know who plays the guitar, if the guitar is a thing for you, but this Spanish guitar is music. It's, it's like a thing in your sacred space. It's really interesting. I've never seen that before. But I will send you a little picture of your crystal grid, and I will go now. I hope this reading sat really well with you, and you enjoyed it.